Dear friends, welcome to Infos, welcome to Oil and Gas uh, Training Series. Uh, this week we are going to study about uh, hazardous areas. Uh, hopefully you are remembering, uh, hopefully you are uh, almost completed uh, in Oil and Gas uh, Instrumentation Series. Almost uh, 10 videos we have uh, uploaded. So, if you didn't watch uh, one, uh, these videos, uh, please uh, take time and uh, watch these all videos. It will be very worthful and uh, informative. So, in this video, we are uh, discussing about uh, hazardous area, hazardous area classification. Welcome to this video. Hazardous areas, where there is an item of uh, electrical equipment, there is a potential ignition source. In areas uh, where there may be a hazardous atmosphere and uh, electrical equipment is uh, required. There are uh, requirements for uh, hazardous area protection of that equipment. Uh, what is uh, hazardous area classification? A method of analyzing and classifying the environment. So, our operational area is uh, classified uh, hazardous and non-hazardous areas. We already discussed about uh, fire and gas protection, various instrumentation. We are working in a toxic environment, hazardous environment and uh, flammable environment. So, hazardous area classification giving a method of analyzing and classifying the environment. Proper, if you can analyze and classify the environment in uh, various uh, hazardous conditions, then only we can uh, proper select and selection of uh, electrical apparatus or uh, other uh, fire and gas uh, equipments uh, using in that area or uh, various tools we can uh, define that one which type of tools we can use in that area. So, also we can add in that permit that one the area is uh, classified in, in various zones. Enable electrical apparatus to be operated safely. IS 5572 an area in which an explosive gas atmosphere is present or likely to be present in quantities such as to require special precautions for the construction, installation and use of electrical apparatus. Electrical equipment is labeled as to the type of protection given and should only be opened by an electrician under the appropriate work permit. There is a picture is giving about uh, various zones. We are going to dis discuss about uh, what is zone, zone 0, zone 1 and zone 2. So, just a simple explanation of zone 0, you can see that one, the red color is uh, flammable area, this one flammable a uh, material in liquid form here and flammable uh, liquid material in gas, uh, gas form or gaseous form, mixed with oxygen and a very high concentration. And zone 1 is uh, just to near the equipment in uh, very uh, nearly 1.5 meter is the standard uh, practice flammable material and zone 2 is almost uh, no flammable material is present. We will uh, discuss in this video about uh, this various zone in detail. Let us see how it is. Classification of uh, hazardous area. Classified in three zones based on upon the frequency of the appearance and duration of an explosive gas, gas, uh, gas atmosphere. Zone 0, explosive atmosphere is present continuously for long period, continuously for long period. Remember here in zone 0, what is happening? Continuously for long period, explosive atmosphere that is continuously available here. And zone 1 explosive atmosphere is likely to occur in normal operation or occasionally. So, he in this area small valve is there, so uh, drain, uh, wind line is there, some uh, nozzles are there, some uh, instrumentation connections are there, so likely to occur, that is what it is. Atmosphere, explosive atmosphere is likely to occur, that is important in normal operation. Zone 2, clear that one, zone 2, it is uh, away from the normal uh, uh, flammable area or explosive area. 
an explosive atmosphere is not likely to occur that is important not likely to occur in normal operation but if it does occur will persist and for a short period only that is ozone 2 so it is practically a safe area so nc classification giving division 1 zone 0 plus zone 2 zone zone 0 plus zone 1 2 zone 1 and division 2 is a zone 2 uh, zone two, 0 is the highly hazardous area let us uh, review that one uh, uh, what is the further uh, definition on that one vapor space above closed process vessel this area see vent hatch and this vent line or this area flammable liquid is there storage tanks are there closed containers are there area containing open tank of volatile flammable liquid an area in which uh, an explosive atmosphere present, present continuously for long period or frequently so it will be making clear that one zone zero is uh, very very hazardous and dangerous and flammable so working in this area any type of maintenance activities taking place like valve replacement or uh, electrical uh, uh, equipment uh, uh, maintenance or any uh, continuous work or uh, maintenance work any type of activity in zone zero is uh, highly 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 hazardous and challengeable so we have to take uh, other type of precaution or any instrument using in this area particularly classified this uh, zone zero certification or explosive certification uh, we will uh, review that one in uh, later part of this video area of this video so zone 1 is uh, what is this zone 1 flammable gas or vapor concentration likely to exist in the air under normal operating condition it is slightly or 1.5 meter above around 1.5 meters radius of that is a zone 0 uh, is likely to occur frequently because of maintenance or repair or leakage piping system containing walls meters or screwed or flanged fittings in a, is an inadequately ventilated area the area below e, the surrounding elevation or grade such a way such vapors may accumulate there in some uh, uh, denser gases or uh, that one can accumulate failure of equipment is likely to cause an electrical system failure simultaneously with the release of flammable gas examples imperfectly fitting peripheral seals uh, on floating uh, floating roof tank so that is that is the ex example is given inadequately ventilated pump rooms for flammable gas liquid oily wastewater sewer or basin loading and unloading gantries interiors of uh, sample retention room area in that immediate vicinity of uh, when and uh, filling hatches an area in which an explosive atmosphere is not likely to occur in normal operation but if does occur will persist uh, for a short period only so in that one you better you are clear that one zone 0 and zone and zone 1 uh, zone 2 is uh, already discussed that one is a safer area so it is uh, away more than 3 to 4 meters away from zone 0 uh, explosive atmosphere explosive gas, gas atmosphere is uh, a mixture with air of flammable material in the form of gas vapor or mist after ignition combustion spreads throughout the mixture so explosive limit we already discussed in our uh, previous uh, foreign gas detectors what is LEL and HEL or upper uh, explosive limit I am not going to discuss here in that one so we are using our uh, foreign gas detectors based on the or gas detectors at least gas detector is exclusively for uh, based on LEL and HEL. So how to select uh, various zone area classification on based on the area classification we can select uh, uh, equipment using in that uh, zone or uh, division of zone like uh, 0, 1, 2 gas group what are the various gases uh, 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 using going to use there like methane, ethane, acetylene, hydrogen, nitrogen or chlorine etc. What are the gases is going to use in that area that also uh, uh, supporting to select the various equipment in that uh, zone. 
temperature class also where it is a high temperature zone and uh, protection concept what are the protection concept is using and uh, various available international practice code it is using. Type of protection is uh, discussing uh, pressurized or purged gas uh, code is uh, P equipment is pressurized to a positive pressure relative to the surrounding atmosphere with the air or an inert gas. Uh, thus, the surrounding uh, ignitable atmosphere cannot come in contact with uh, energized parts of the apparatus. The overpressure pressure is monitored, maintained and controlled. Uh, usually, it is using in the uh, like a blanket gas. Uh, it is uh, using uh, uh, like <coughs> Uh, covered with inside a storage tank example you are taking you saw equipment is always pressurized to keeping in positive pressure if the pressure is coming below atmosphere pressure that atmospheric gas that one air oxygen is uh, mixed that will air is uh, contact with hydrocarbon gas and it can create a hazardous situation so equipment is always uh, pressurized zone 1 uh, that is location zone 1 or uh, Analysis, uh, uses uh, analyzer, uh, monitor, control boxes, uh, computer, etc. So, oil is uh, immersed. So, oil is immersed and uh, a method of uh, protection where uh, electrical apparatus is made safe by oil immersion in the sense that flammable gases or vapors above the oil or outside the enclosure will not be ignited. It is using in zone 2 and zone 1 like uh, Suchigir is a uh, use of uh, uh, type of protection and the equipments using there. So, another uh, slide is showing here uh, the uh, examples of uh, various code is using for uh, uh, the equipments uh, if you are purchasing a gas detector or fire and gas equipment or electrical apparatus. Uh, these codes are using for uh, classifying this uh, our hazardous uh, area concept uh, T4, T4 temperature classification then uh, double IC is uh, apparatus group, gas group, then protection concept that is IA and uh, hazardous area equipment is uh, uh, X, what type of equipment and uh, E is the certified European standard and uh, another one is uh, association associated apparatus. So, this uh, uh, which, whichever whenever we are using an equipment in hazardous area, we have to uh, check that one this uh, uh, equipment tag or equipment uh, code is using uh, properly then only that we, we can uh, that uh, equipment can certified to use in hazardous area purpose of the equipment the fire and gas detection equipment is designed to detect and offer some minor protection to certain uh, key areas of the plant from the hazards of fire or gas leak this minor protection is there so that a warning of a potential hazard has been discovered. Uh, this will give a visual and audible warning if they detect a flame or gas leak. Depend upon uh, which equipment or location is being protected, the system can also release fire extinguishing agent or shutdown equipment. This uh, we are uh, we already discussed in the previous uh, uh, this one. Uh, general layout of equipment, the gas detectors. Uh, are located at various locations around the plant. They are uh, sited uh, at a different uh, height to ensure full coverage of uh, lighter than air and heavier than air in combustible areas. They can detect from 0 to 100 or uh, of the lower explosive limit with 100 being equal to the lower explosive limit of uh, median gas. Uh, another one is uh, fire detection. Some electric critical areas of the plant cannot be manned by day and night. If fire occurred in one of these areas, uh, the equipment could be badly damaged before the fire was discovered. In these areas, fire detectors are installed. Uh, remember uh, the 3 P concept in the uh, of in the oil and gas industry: protect, pupil, plant, and production. Sometime uh, environment also included that also very uh, valuable asset for our uh, country or our system. So, the most expensive investment we have 
on the plant are skilled operatives, machines and tradesmen. They are not only expensive in monetary terms but also in time terms. Therefore, always look after personal as a first priority. Plant is expensive to build and replace. So, this should be the second priority but never at the risk of personal. Production is the third priority and the least important of the three. If you can keep everyone without the injury and minimize the damage of the plant, production can be attended, attended to. If it cannot be maintained, shut it down, it will be safe and in the reservoir for tomorrow or next day. So, hazardous areas classification can give or uh, understanding a better understanding about how our plant is uh, designed uh, dangerous or hazardous or flammable and be safe and uh, the use of equipment is classified according to the hazardous area classification. Thanks for watching this short video. Uh, please subscribe this channel for timely updates and information. Please join in our telegram channel uh, Infos by Hamsa Vibhava for various updates. And we are taking uh, process training for various clients, uh, corporate clients. Please uh, contact uh, through my email hamsabhava at gmail.com. So, thanks for watching this video. Definitely we will come back with uh, another video soon. Bye then, goodbye.